today we did back. Right now, what I'm really trying to focus on is just um, uh, muscle contraction. I don't, I don't really see the ability to put on more muscle now, but I'm just trying to sculpt her uh, parts and refine things now. Started off with just close range. I'm trying to really focus in on my, my inner back and my lower back, being that I can't do um, deadlifts and T-bar rows and stuff like that. Using the, uh, the first machine, trying to more focus on the inner and lower um, back and then moving over to the uh, close grip pull downs, uh, trying to stay more erect. Uh, from there, just a, a different innovative movement and using a dumbbell on a slant. And then our final movement was just an old fashioned movement, basically um, trying to stretch out the lats. It's more now not about the weight that I use or anything, it's about just contracting and trying to have that muscle-mind connection of getting the muscles used to contracting and my ability to be able to control those so once I get on stage I can uh, create that same effect. Everybody keep asking me, you know, am I nervous or, you know, uh, any jitters about going back on stage after 15 years? No, not really. I'm not really, again, you know, focused on any other athletes or my competition or, you know, one of my best friends in the world, Danny Hester, is a current, you know, Mr. Olympia, and I'll be competing with him. We've been training partners, and now I get the honor actually to stand uh, on stage with one of my closest friends. Like I said before, it's, it's no reason to get caught up what another man's going to look like. I mean, I'm trying to control and focus on what I have to bring to the game and trying to be as competitive as possible. You know, I'm not taking it lightly and I am going in and try to be a threat. <laughs> looking forward to the battle and looking forward to the, um, the outcome of what's going to happen. I've, I've never been so dialed in. Before I've had, you know, problems with training and staying focused and and my diet and my food plan and stuff like that, but I've never been so laser locked in in my entire career. So it's given me a sense of uh, comfort and focus in what I have to do. I definitely want to come and, uh, and be a threat to everyone that I stand next to. So now um, I'm going to go and do the cryotherapy. As you can see, I didn't know it, but uh, I guess he's been treating uh, Mayweather for the last nine years or something like that. Yeah, Which he actually great. signed the poster. Oh, really? Yeah. So what do you got going on today? All right, Flex. So I have your room ready, but what we're going to do is we're going to freeze you. Um, we're going to hopefully get you to the full three minutes. He can Shit, handle it. Yeah. Um, the coldest it's going to get is about negative 256 degrees. 256? Yeah. So we'll try and work our way. So I'm like, I could barely handle two minutes in there, man, before I'm like, you know, let me out. It's gonna just um, put your body in a survival mode. So all the blood's gonna be rushing to your organs to protect them. Um, it's gonna help boost your endorphins and your energy and any muscle or tissue damage that you have. It's gonna help with that. Mm -hmm. um, any joint pain that you're having. I know you lift a lot of weight, so it should help with any. I'm an old four. Oh, <laughs> I know you are. It's really great for rehabilitation. I use it because one of the hardest things for me is to, uh, you know, recuperate after a training session. And, uh, you know, muscles and joints and everything are aching. So this is just new technology where it speeds everything up rapidly. You ready? I'm never ready for this. You never ready? Alright, let's go. See, that just don't look right. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze you like a popsicle. Alright, so I take this off or leave it on? Um, you're going to give it to me right now. Countdown starts now. <laughs> How long have I been in? <laughs> Three minutes. Yeah. Mm. Do you want me to let you know when you're halfway? Uh, you can just give me like every 30 seconds. You got it. it. <laughs> you got it. You know, it's, it's interesting. When I first went in there, I, I could only handle, you know, a minute and 30, uh, a minute actually. And the second time I was able to do, you know, a minute and 30 seconds. And then I got up to two minutes and uh, two minutes and 30 seconds. But the other day I had to get out of there at two minutes. I was like, get me out, you know. So I guess because I'm so lean now, it, it, it affects my veins. So my veins to my arms and my legs, they just start to ache. And I just, I just can't handle it after that. And I doubt I'd get out of there. How cold did it get in there? It got, when you were like leaving, it 
it got to negative 120 degrees, which uh, that's a, that's 120 degrees Celsius. So that's about negative 256 Fahrenheit. So let me tell you, at 256 uh, below zero, the homies the homies ain't happy right now at all. <laughs> I know a lot of people, you know, consider these last four weeks as peak week, but you know, for me. <laughs> It's been peak week for the last nine months. Unlike most of the competitors, I'm coming off of a 14-year a hiatus. I had to hit the ground running at nine months because I hadn't trained like this in over uh, 14 years. I'm enjoying my food. I, I'm eating, uh, you know, basically just steak all day long. And you know, I'm, I've always struggled with my diet, and I created this diet that I'm doing now to try to get the ultimate uh, response that I could as quickly as possible. And my all, overall goal was to get myself in the best condition as possible as soon as possible, so that my body can then get comfortable and find comfort in where it's at and level out. You know, as of now, you know, obviously the mirror is a judge and the scale is a judge, so I have to monitor my eating. Nothing's gonna change whatsoever. Uh, I'm pretty much, you know, in striking range. Where I'm at now, you know, like I've said, uh, unfortunately I'm a mental case, so my, I'm at war. And more so, I'm, I'm, I'm not at war with my body, I'm at war with my mind, you know, trying to shut myself down, trying not to, you know, pay attention to you know, the naysayers, and, and also, you know, not trying to pay too close attention to uh, the positive comments either. I'm trying to really stay even tone. Even though I'm in a, the best shape of my life, I'm not even allowing that to uh, be my comfort zone. When I sat down and talked uh, to Stan about, you know, coming back and competing, I, I couldn't have asked for a better position. I, uh, I had no idea that I could ever achieve this type of look, but is no comfort because I haven't brought it to stage yet. So until I can bring that to stage, what is there to relax about? Who gives a damn what I look like right now? It, it has no bearing. If I can't bring that look to stage, who gives a damn? You know, who gives a damn what I look like after the show? All that matters is that 15 to 20 minutes standing on stage.